No grief for anybody. No grief. No grief for anybody. Nigerian police, if you go through from seven up, going down to a daughter, Nigerian police, they are there every day of their life using POS to collect money from citizens. And you, you think that one is morally and constitutionally right? You think it is easy to survive in this present day Nigeria? We will need the president of this country, Baba Jagaban, to come and tell us that no grief for anybody has become a problem to his economy. If you want us to stop that slogan, then call your police officers to order. If you want us to stop that slogan, meet our demands for answers. Ekabo Sorieto. Ikoni wo TV na la wa lori eto omo oduwa ni bi ta ti ma mu wa fun yin loloko ojo kan gege bi ise ti wa e ti mo bi pe baba ti so pe bayi ni be ina le ba be ba ti be ba ti de be to atun ti de gege bi ise wa o atun ti mu mi wa fun yin loni e mo pa lara ni wa nitori pe ara o ki tan ni le a lara ara mi la ture o e ja lo ke yin fun ra yin foju ayowo ke fi ti ara yin bo ohun ti won wi ni be nipa ohun to sele lo lowo yi bo ba ti ya yin o ti ya o no grief for anybody. No grief. No grief for anybody. So, Mr. Olumu, you are the jobby. <laughs> Nigerian police has come out to say that the slogan, the motivational and inspirational push that people want to just use to push themselves to survive in this 2024 has become a crime or a problem. A young lady from Globus Bank in Korodu ended her life and it's all over the news this morning. The hardship is too much. I'm sure she didn't have a means or where to borrow money to jack her from Nigeria. She looked at herself and looked at the promises her motherland gave her and none was fulfilled. She ended her life. Nigerian police have the audacity where in the criminal code or which law has certified that the, the, the slogan no grief for anybody has become a problem or a threat to you nigerian police if you go through from seven up going down to a daughter nigerian police they are there every day of their life using pos to collect money from citizens and you you think that one is morally and constitutionally right, Nigerian police, the Korodu roundabout, every day, they are there taking bribes from citizens. That is also morally right. Nigerian police will take money, transfers into their account, intimidate citizens, holding their guns and cigarettes. That is morally justified. The same Nigerian police could not meet the five demands of NSAS. That is still morally justified. Mr. Limuiwa, are we in a land of slavery? Is freedom of speech now a problem to you? You want Nigerians to obey, but you cannot afford to give citizens their fundamental rights that you owe them. You think it is easy to survive in this present day Nigeria? We will need the president of this country, Baba Jagaban, to come and tell us that no grief for anybody has become a problem to his economy. Because if the government cannot provide for its citizens, and the government is still pleading and appealing to citizens to endure. And citizens have looked for a way to just endure and encourage themselves. What has no grief for anybody going to do without indicting public interest, Mr. Muiwa? This video is not an intention to indict public interest. But the question is, which court of law has, has certified or approved that no grief for anybody is a problem to Nigeria? Please, no grief for anybody. Is it going to disturb the president from devaluing the naira or is it going to disturb the president from bringing dollar to 570 naira no grief for anybody is it going to stop the atrocities that the nigerian police are committing we are in a land of democracy your police officers have their own slogan your police officers have become nuisance on the street they wear bathroom slippers they dress anyhow that is a sort that is an eyesore that is a shame to we citizens of this country, because we own the Nigerian police. They are called to serve and protect us. They are not protecting our lives. Rather, they are ripping us. They are intimidating us. They are frustrating us. You go to a Nigerian police station, you have to pay for everything, from paper to pen.
from bell to fuel and you have the audacity you have never come on social media to announce to the public that no citizen should give any police officer a bribe you have the audacity to come and to come in the midst of citizens who have gathered with the spirit of umoja to just make themselves happy nothing is encouraging about the country nothing is encouraging about the system nothing is encouraging about the economy nothing is encouraging about the security please if only the nigerian police wants people to start developing mental mental disability explain to us no grief for anybody means don't move back keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing one day you will get there keep pushing keep encouraging yourselves just know that we will get there one day and now it has become a crime you know what Mr. Muiwade Dobi you have not done your best the best is for you to in, 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 instruct all the citizens man, to help with you people in the land of democracy you have the audacity to come and tell us we that we have survived the tumor we that we have survived the reaping the siphoning, the embezzlement that politicians and you police officers have done to us. No grief for anybody this year, my fellow citizens of Nigeria. If you want us to stop that slogan, then call your police officers to order. If you want us to stop that slogan, meet our demands for answers. You kill the citizens of this country. You murder them mentally. You made them lose hope for their motherland. A lot of our citizens have run away. Our hospitals are empty. Our children cannot receive medical attention. Our children are not interested in going to school. You don't think about that. The only thing that matters to you is the little way and the little effort they put into encouraging themselves. No grief for anybody. For this country, we must survive. Be bad as it bad. No grief. Don't give up. Bullshit. We will get there. Nobody said it's going to be easy. But we have made it easier for ourselves by motivating ourselves. What threat has that post brought to you? What threat does that statement, statement bring to you? How has that statement drawn Nigerian back? In the face of international board or locally, you people just want to demoralize every opportunity that the living people in this country are using to survive. The little battery they are using to push themselves to endure until it gets better. You want to drain it and you are telling us that no grief for anybody has become a problem. But your police officers, they rip citizens on a daily. They dress dirty and shabbily. They are drunkards. They are smokers. They use their guns against the citizens rather than protecting them. When you call them for protection, they don't have fuel. But when, you, when, when citizens come out in mass to raise their voice, parents, government should listen to the citizens. Rather, they feel threatened. Every remembrance for answers, people come out well dressed and mass. You mount your effort and your cowardice energy and you want to intimidate us and push us back into ourselves. Don't you ever. We have not forgotten. We are only waiting and hopeful that it is going to get better. But if you feel we have forgotten, don't dig up the wounds. We are ever ready to stand for a better Nigeria. Rubbish. Hey, a car bobo gwe nyara leo. To. Ko wani juba e lo lori eto yi. Funto ni funti sa yi. An lo, an kwa da bo ni to di pe. Awa o fi bakon, da wo xe duro. Titi wa di ba mi. Ta wato ma waso ju o ron yi. Pe lo akotun. Oru a wun a sha yon eto ba yi. To ni bo bo to dun. To ma jeke enjoy de yi. A cha wun activities yi. Baba wo lo ki yi o. E sha ma bi mi like. Ke ma ba mi share. Ke re ma ba mi subscribe. In multitude. Please note, views and opinions expressed in the course of this program do not represent that of Vote TV. Therefore, this channel is not liable to any legal action that may result from this program.